Number four, Coniston Lake and Palmer. Coniston Lake, yeah. Well, it's not exciting, this video, but it's just one of my favourites. I just loved this video, I loved editing it. We've been up to the Lake District. We'd just done Scaffold Pike, Ling Mail the day before. The day was going well until the mist came in and then we tried to get off the side of Ling Mail. We got lost, we had an argument, Trev's boot fell apart, the downhill was so steep it was just jarring. Nathan sort of shot his knee a bit. Anyway, we woke up the following day and uh, we decided to have an easier day and Trev sort of suggested this Coniston Lake. And when I was researching the Lake District, I looked for good walks and one of them that come up was a gondola ride and hike. Well, when I think of a gondola, I think of some guy in a stripy t-shirt with a big stick pushing you through some canals somewhere in Venice. It's a beautiful old steamboat, you know, and this is completely different for something or nothing. We've not really had a part of a walk before where we didn't actually have to walk to travel some of the distance, so... So the gondola drives us across the lake, it happens to be the lake where, and where the bluebird crashed for the uh, high speed water record attempt where it killed the driver Donald Campbell. It was um, part of the inspiration for the story Swallows and Amazons. So it's like seeped in history this lake. We get us to the other end and uh, we pretty much just get turfed off on this jet in the middle of nowhere. They let us know what time the last boat is. That's all right we won't miss it. We've only got this little walk to do. We sort of start reading through this little handout leaflet for directions. So we're just following this track or this road along the side of the lake. And we're walking past trees and it's like the Get a bit of an interest in trees. Trevor decides that he's going to start getting his little book out of his pack and start doing some tree spotting. What's happened to us? Yesterday we were climbing mountains, today we're identifying trees. I think the video really relays the whole situation brilliantly. The sycamore, the oak, the Douglas fir. I mean it's the music, it makes me laugh every time I see it. Tim from Viking Outdoors commented and said, isn't the sycamore related to the Acer? And then I basically just found a page all about sycamores and Acers and copied and pasted it and then just changed it and made out that it was just off the top of my head. Surprise, surprise, Viking Outdoors didn't comment on any of our videos for a long time. And I, I did apologize to him many months later. I said, I won't upset you, it was just me tipping about. It's the sort of thing I do and uh, tend to put people's noses out of joint as well, so. Anyway. Trev's got this most frustrating new garment, this bum bag that uh, he's put all of his camera gear in. Which Nathan calls my uh, fanny pack and he hated. And I understand the practical implication for it, but he knows that I hate it. And every time I look around or I'm filming him, he's rubbing it and just emphasising the fact that it's there. I've got my new shoes on. Which I had to buy because my boots fell apart coming off of Ling Mel the day before. Anyway, I've got them my special boots. So they look a bit special. But anyway, we follow this we follow this route and it's all easy going and everything's really nice. We sort of meander up some hills through some woodland. So we break out of the woods, we get up above and all of a sudden these mountain bikes start hurtling past us. Our walking track is also a cycling bar and it says in this brochure look out for cyclists and they're going at a fair old speed and getting air off of these little jumps the most exciting footage i think some of nothing's ever had and eventually the hill sort of plateaus everything opens up in front of you you can look out over the whole lake with mountains in the background and i don't even think we knew at the time but we were actually looking at the old man of coniston and it was at that point that trev sort of starts murmuring and muttering we shouldn't be here we should be going up a mountain which is true, we got lakes here in Devon and Cornwall, you know, we could have walked around the lake down here if we wanted to go down that road. There was one moment we set the camera up, we're walking down this track singing a little this hobo and there's a brief moment there where we just thought it would be funny to hold hands. Eventually we come out with this, this little cafe there. I think it might have been like an old manor house of some description. It's a nice little posh. So cafe here, let's stop here. We're not far from the jetty. We've got time before the gondola comes to pick us up, let's go in. So we stop for a cup of tea and get some hot food. So we had a hot drink and a sausage roll and sort of started reviewing our food, I guess you could say. God, they was the nicest sausage rolls I think I've ever eaten. So we're eating this sausage rolls with a fork. It just doesn't feel like something or nothing, but we're, we're embellishing it, you know, we're having fun with it. And then um, we decided to shoot on because uh, time's cracking on. Read the instructions again, yeah, down the hill. Start walking down the hill, looking for this jetty. We came out of the cafe, looked directly at the gate that led down to the gondola 
jetty and uh, walk straight past it. Bear in mind, this is the last ferry of the day. We still can't find this jetty. We think, God, how much further is it? So we start running down the hill, away from the jetty. Then we started panicking. Then we started getting delirious. Nate cuts in through the woods. He bursts through to the water's edge and he looks and he sees a jetty back up where we've came. And then we turned around, then we were running some more, then we were a bit more delirious, then we were panicking. But we were about 10, 15 minutes down the hill, having run down there as well. So now we're going to run back up in our hiking boots. Sure enough, there's the gate that we need to go through for the ferry, and it is directly across the road, 10 feet away from where we've just had dinner. We could have been there ages ago. We go sprinting down the hill, finally get to the jetty, just to realise that the gondola's taken off without us. And that was our Coniston Lake and Palmer Walk. That's my number four. And it, like I say, it's nothing special. It wasn't an amazing walk, but it is just one of my favourite videos.